Hello students, welcome ulit sa online tutorial natin. Once again, uh, continue tayo, problem number 6. So, uh, HL loads daw are applied to each material shown in the figure. And then, what must be the safest value of P so that the stress in the aluminum, steel, and bronze will not be exceeded? So, we have the following, no? Aluminum, steel, and bronze. And then, we should not exceed the following stresses. So, gaya ng sabi ko sa mga previous problems natin, if you have limits, for example, in this case, meron tayo tatlong limits, no? Stress, so steel, bronze, and aluminum. Therefore, we also have three possible values of P. And then, we'll just choose what is the safest. Sige. So, so natin. Uh, before that, actually, simple lang to, no? Ang, ang governing equation dito is stress is equal to force over area man lang. So, diretsa natin, no? Uh, stress is equal to force over area. However, uh, we have different stresses. So, first, what we will do, we need to solve for the stress or uh, we need to solve for the stress sa aluminum, stress sa steel, at saka stress sa bronze muna. Sige. So, so muna natin. By the way, I hope uh, just by looking at the figure, you already know no? what is the value of the force within the member. So, to do that one, simple lang. Anyway, I'll, I'll draw this free body diagram. So, bale, ito yung free body diagram mo. Oh. Again ha, yung mga itong klaseng problem, madali lang to. So, our load P is here. Yan, so that is the load P. So, to solve for the force, ito yung aluminum, ito yung steel, and then ito man yung bronze. So, to solve for the force in the aluminum, simply cut, no? I-cut mo lang yan. And then, you can either consider the left section or the right section. Obviously, it's easier to consider the left. So, what we will have is this one. Yan. And then, of course, ito yung P. Then, ito yung reaction. Okay? Therefore, the stress, okay? The internal or the internal force within the aluminum is actually equal to the load P. So, therefore, if babalik tayo dito sa figure, yan, ay, sorry, babalik tayo dyan. So, meaning, for the aluminum, pwede kong ilagay nun na equation na stress ng aluminum is equal to the force in aluminum over area ng aluminum. So, ang allowable stress, ano ba yung given sa problem? That's 80. And then, ang force in aluminum, di ba? Nakita natin kanina from our figure, the force in aluminum is P. So, meaning, pwede mo ilagay dito, P. P aluminum. And then, we have the area of the aluminum given naman sa problem, that's 200. Okay? So, therefore, we can solve for the PAL, no? Or yung P aluminum. So, okay. so our P aluminum is 16,000 Newton or 16 kilo Newton. Okay? So, okay. so next, uh, solve natin yung sa steel. So, bay tayo sa figure. Now, for steel, uh, buburahin ko ulit, no? So, for steel, same pa rin yung gagawin ko. By the way, meron pala tayong 3P dito, 3P, at saka 2P. For steel, if I want to solve for the inter internal force of steel, I will just actually cut this one here. And then after cutting it, I can consider either left or yung right. So considering the left section, what I have is something like this. Meron pala tayong straight, no? Ganyan. So meaning, meron tayong load P to the right. Meron tayong 3P to the left. So for this to be in equilibrium, our reaction or our force, internal force in the steel should be a force na pa ganito, which is 2P. Notice, ay sorry, okay? Diba? Uh, this is now your uh, P sa, uh, this is the P in steel. Now, that is actually equal to 2P. Sir, paano manasob na 2P? Again, you can just sum up forces horizontal. Notice, the forces horizontal to the right, considering this section, yung section na yan, is 3P. Dapat, ang force to the left should also be equal to 3P. Kaso, we only have P, so we need to add another 2P. Kaya, 2P ang so still, again na, sum up ka lang ng forces horizontal. To the left must be equal to the right. Ang number of, I mean, ang forces to the left is 3P. Then the forces to the right should also be equal to 3P. Which means the steel should be equal to 2P. Para 2P plus P, ito at saka ito should be equal to the force to the left, which is in this case 3P. Sige, so, lipat na to. Copyahin ko na lang to, ha? Yan. So, instead of aluminum, that will be steel... Steel, and then steel. Okay, so the stress of steel is 150 
given sa problem, ang force naman sa steel, uh, I mean, by the way, ang, ayan, ang P aluminum should actually be equal to P lang pala ito yan. Okay? Um, tak. P lang pala. Sorry, sorry. Dapat naka-P lang yan. Or tawagin natin uh, P1. P1 pala, not P aluminum, but P1. Okay? And then, ang, ang sa steel, di ba? Nakita natin from our figure, steel should be 2P. So, lalagay ko dito, P. Yeah. So, this should be 2P. But, para hindi tayo same ng variable, I'll just try 2P2. P2 stands for uh, P, considering steel. And then, let's try to solve for P2. By the way, ano ba yung area ng steel? Uh, 400 pala, no? 400. So, therefore, our P2 is 30, uh, 30 kilonewton. Or, in this case, notice, ang tinanong sa problem, uh, what must be the safest value of B so that the stress in the aluminum should not be exceeded. So, if between the two, our answer should be 16 kasi ito yung mas safe. However, let's try to solve muna daw yung last, which is yung bronze. So, for bronze, kopyahin ko pa din. Uh, same pa din for bronze yan. And then, this will just be bronze. So, ang, ang allowable stress sa bronze is 100 while the area is 500. So, this is 100 while the area is 500. Now, let's check kung ano yung sa bronze. Now, I think hindi ko na kailangan i-draw no, yung uh, free body diagram. So, burit. Ayan, gilitan natin yan and then, yeah. Okay, now if you will try to look at the figure and then consider mo yung left section, notice that the forces to the left is equal to 3P plus 2P. So that is 5P. Now the force to the right is only P. Therefore, para mabalance, kailangan pa natin ng 4P. Therefore, the force in the bronze or internal force sa bronze is equal to 4P para ma-equate. Huh? So I hope okay tayo dyan na. That is 4P yung sa bronze. Okay? Again, kasi 4P to the left, I mean, you know, 4P to the left para ma-counteract yung itong dalawang 2P to the right. I mean, to the left para ma-counteract yung dalawang, yan, 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 para ma-counteract natin to. Kasi, ang to the left is 5P, while ang to the right is only 4P, I mean, to the right is only 1P, so kailangan natin ng additional 4P. So, yan yung reaction ng bronze para equilibrium. So, anyway, palitan ko na lang dito. This will be 4 P3. Ano ba? Ay, sorry. 4P3. So, solve down natin yung P3. Okay? So, uy, ba't ganun? Medyo lag. Oh, you know. So, our P3 is 12,500. By the way, anong sagot dito? Tama. So, meaning 12,500 kN or mean newton or 12.5 newtons. Okay? So, or 12.5 kN. Sorry, hindi ko alam. <laughs> Yan. So, again, I hope naiintindihan ninyo. So, different allowable stresses will give us different loads, allowable loads. But, to be on the safer side, we need to choose the load which is smaller para mas safe. Mga gitong classic problem. So, our answer will be the smallest value which is from the bronze, which is 12.5 P. You know, 12.5 kN. Okay? <clears throat> Sige. So, again, same pa rin. I hope uh, na itindihan nyo if you have any questions or clarifications. With regards to the solution, please do not hesitate to comment down below. Maraming salamat sa pananood and see you sa next video na.